It is your time. It is your look. Go take it. The Big 12 needs a championship game. The Big 12 got a raw deal. The Big 12 was lied to. The Big 12 was down. That was the narrative of last year. Here's the deal with the 2015 Big 12 season. After being front and center in the college football playoff discussion throughout last year, the Big 12 was the one Power 5 conference left without a chair after the music stopped. But it took a perfect storm to keep the conference out. And going forward, no. No championship game means less chance for a fluky outcome and more of a chance for an 11-1 true Big 12 champion to get in. Now, helping the cause is an improved league overall. Oklahoma State's going to be better. Oklahoma and Texas should be stronger. West Virginia should be the best it's been since joining the conference. And Baylor and TCU are every bit as loaded as they were last season. And beyond all else, the league should be even more fun. Four of the top 10 passing offenses in the FBS last season were in the Big 12 with Baylor, Texas Tech, TCU, and West Virginia all in the top nine. But will it be up to the offenses this year? Who's going to emerge from the pack and be that champion in the one Power 5 conference where everyone plays everyone else? Baylor did it last season, and while it won't get through this season unscathed with home games against Oklahoma, Texas, and West Virginia, as long as the Bears can take care of home, and if they can win two of the three November road showdowns against Kansas State, Oklahoma State, and TCU, they should take the title. I'm Pete Futak. To dive deeper into the 2015 Big 12 season, check out the written preview on Campus Insiders.